So guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my Lexus. You guys love the format so much of this where we were delving into auction sites, marketplaces to actually find some maybe investment or terrible financial decisions for you to buy and maybe invest in or just have fun with. I thought we'd delve into some of my top 80s hot hatches, some that are going to be genuinely hard to find today. Now we won't be using eBay or a trader. We might delve into both of them at some point, but I think Cars and Classic is probably the way to go. And looking on other classic car websites to actually find these hot hatches, because I feel like they're not as mainstream as they once were, so it's going to be a lot harder for me to actually find these physical cars for sale. And today, we'll probably be finding higher priced ones, because some of these cars are coming out of the woodworks, they've been sat in garages, and because they've become sought after, the prices have, of course, gone up on them. But we will delve into the internet and try and find what I think may be good deals, maybe bad deals, maybe good investments, maybe bad investments. But I will say now, although I've called this investment please don't take any of this on face value some of these cars might be completely rotten and just because i own a series one rs turbo doesn't mean i know what i'm actually talking about i just really like looking for cars for sale and hopefully you guys do too so let's see what we can find first up is going to be the astra gte from the 80s now i would say the 16 valve is probably the one to go with but let's jump on the internet and see if we can find any of these for sale okay so the first sort of search that's come up is on auto trader and there is one so there's one for sale. We'll click on that nine and a half grand. This one is again, face value on a D plate 1987. And this is an eight valve model and it's been dry stored and sawn from the early 2000s previous owner body repairs included. Now jumping onto car and classics. I go on here quite a lot actually to just have a little nose round. GTE Cabriolet for restoration. Not really something we're after. The first one I'm going to come across though is very original. It says 16 valve in black GTE with the spoiler on the back these cars look so good i absolutely love the way they look and this one looks like a nice condition digital dash from this era as well tons of paperwork with it <clears throat> and of course the glorious 16 valve two liter engine in there seven and a half grand i don't think that's bad again going to look at this car would be key now this one is absolutely lovely on face value white with the wheels little exhaust on there it absolutely it's just stunning interior Again, going to look at this car and making sure you're buying the right one is key. But that's an auction estimate at 11,000 pounds. But I would say if you're actually after, and I'm gonna say investment, go for a 16 valve, go for a nicely restored one maybe. If you can find a Survivor real, if you can find a Survivor nice paint car, you're absolutely golden. But again, you're gonna be paying the money for it. Next up, of course, is going to be the Renault 5 GT Turbo. We shot one of these for the channel a few years ago now, a car that I've lusted for for years and I've watched the prices go up and they, I've just been priced out. I really have been priced out of these cars, which is a shame, but I'm so glad I got to shoot one, have a day with it and just really enjoy these cars. So again, we will jump on, see what we can find now i've done a general search for gt turbos um just to see what comes up there is some hot stuff on here i mean r5 turbo 2 i mean that's goals but at ninety thousand pounds that's way way more than we're after the first one that's popped up is a little yellow one look at this yellow with the wheels hundred and thirty four thousand kilometers i'm gonna say on this one it is on a left-hand driver i've just noticed left-hand drive car yellow maybe it's a factory yellow we're not too sure since it's 100 rust free rare yellow color 134,000 kilometers verified as well 1987 so that is just a lovely thing but again it's 16,000 pounds so this is where i'm you know getting priced out very very quickly we will just try and find another gt turbo again you got another turbo to 128,000 pounds 79,000 pounds. These are expensive cars. The only other, it looks like the only other GT Turbo on here today, other than that, basically half a million pound works group four car, which is just goals, is this one. It's, you know, been raced and rallied. It's got a cage in it. It's still 11,000 pounds. So, you know, you can see where the market's going for these cars. They are getting very, very expensive. Next up is going to be another car that I want to shoot so badly for the channel, but I've never got the chance. I've never been offered one properly. It is the Citroen AX GT. In my opinion, these were a really cool light hot hatch with, yes, a small engine. They were 96 brake horsepower from a 1.4 litre, but at just 722 kilos, I think they were. Absolutely fantastic, lightweight French car from that era. Let's see if we can find any for sale. So we've just jumped on car and classic again, and there's two. 
So the two we have to pick one from here is one's a private seller, doesn't look like it's UK based. Um, that's 8,750 euros though in silver with steel wheels. This is an absolute look though. I love that this is just so basic. Plastic bumpers, little spoiler out the back. This is literally how I'd have mine if I was to have one. Left hand drive variant, cool interior, parcel shelf, no cracks on the dash. Engine bay looks really, really clean. And again, there's some surface rust underneath. It's gonna be expected, it's an old French car. And you can see there's some paintwork that's been done. It looks like a, a really, really big restoration that's been done to this car. So yeah, really clean, nice example, 122,000 kilometers. But we will just go back and actually look at the one underneath it. Now this uh, looks like a race car. Again, some of these from old eras are race cars. They've become race cars and they've stayed as race cars. And getting them back to uh, a factory car is going to be very hard these days. Parts are not as readily available as they used to be. But this one, 2,750 quid race car. This isn't the one I would buy. I would buy just a, a bog standard rusty one rather than a race car. But I'm assuming if you know you do stumble across one of these and they've got some seriously good heritage that comes with the car, it'd be really nice to own something that has been raced and rallied over the years that you could go and enjoy on UK roads today. Now the next one, the second to last one, is going to be the 205 GTI. Obviously it's a car that I have lusted for. I actually looked at one um, after my 106 GTI. I just couldn't find a nice one. Prices were going up and I got priced out of the market. So we will have a little delve into what is for sale right now. I will say though, I would rather a 1.9 GTI. I did a little bit of research when I actually shot uh, a 205 GTI and many of the enthusiasts prefer the 1.6 because it's more lighter on its feet, a little bit less power. But personally, I'd go for the 1.9 just because I feel like that's the best variant of the car, so that's the one I would go for. The first one I'm going to stumble across, though, is insane. <laughs> insane. £12,000. We're on auto trader at the moment, and it looks like a dimmer-kitted 205 GTI 1.9. It's got the wheels. What an absolute, just the maddest thing. We're not after a dimmer-kitted one. I'd kill for a dimmer-kitted one. It would be so cool, but we'll go back. And look for a factory standard one. So here is two. So black one, 1 1.6 GTI, £10,000, so 9995 um, It looks like it's from a car dealer as well, which is, again, something you can take into consideration. Dealers are actually picking these cars up these days because there's money to be made in them. 93,000 miles, rare, all original low miles. Low miles for the era, in my opinion. Sunroof car, cloth interior, looks pretty good. We will go back because underneath it for 8550 is a 1.9 with 116,000 miles cheap to clear. Uh, modified variant though, it says it's modified. And that is like, you need to look under these cars. You need to see where the rust is. You need to see how good the paint is. Uh, I looked at a black one once, the, it had been repainted and it just wasn't very good. So I, I sort of pulled out of buying one of these. But logbook states it's a 1.6. So we will go back and try and find, I mean, here we are. Th this is something that you would just tuck away. Not necessarily because you don't want to use it, but it is possible investment. Yes, it's got 113,000 miles in it, but 18,649 for just the coolest color. I mean, look at the color of it. It's just insane. And it's even got it on the steering wheel. That is so cool. But half leather interior with the cloth, 1.9 sunroof. Yeah, absolutely lovely thing that, but you're gonna be paying for it. And last but no means least, the complete curveball of the whole video. A car that some people don't even know exists. I did a sort of barn find series and a video of one collection that a gentleman had and he had a few of these in the barns and it's the Mazda 323 Turbo. Now I did look at around, you know, do a little bit of research. The Americans seem to get a GTX if I'm correct which is a very similar variant, I'm assuming, of this car. But we're looking at UK cars today. I've jumped on newsnow.co.uk, uh, the only place that seems to have a few for sale. We will check out the first one because at 10 grand, this is the closest I can sort of find to the car that I was thinking of showing you guys. Uh, £10,000, Mazda 323, 1.6 turbo, 16 valve, 4x4, four so he's a four-wheel drive. JDM, fresh import, low mileage, 44,000 miles that's got in it. But again, it's it's a ten thousand pound Mazda. We will go back 
and just have a look at some others uh, 57,000 miles for a silver one there and that's it uh, I think that's actually it because they go to the newer generation 323s not something that I'm interested in in this video it actually looks like there's only two for sale because they're duplicate ads so there's actually only two so we'll just jump on this silver one quickly auto trader nine and a half thousand pounds on an e-red so an 88 car just a car you don't see you do not see this car like it just doesn't exist very very cool when i got the opportunity to see one in a barn fine state i absolutely loved seeing it that's a uk model not import fifty-seven thousand miles maybe that's the right one to buy maybe uh buying an import one is the right one to buy but there's one rail available but it is nine and a half thousand pounds so guys leave a comment below let me know what other cars from the early to late 80s that might be possible investments but cars that you want to sort of tick off the list at the same time all of these were around 10 grand you know maybe even 15 grand one was 18 and a half grand so the prices have increased incredibly over the last couple of years but what else can you find leave some comments below of links to cars and i'll see you all on the next video